Are you seeing astronomical levels of cavities that can be attributed to just the lack of fluoridation? So most recently, this was last fall 2024, the National Toxicology Program's report was released. Mm -hmm. The people were saying, EPA, do you have any long-term safety data on water fluoridation? Mm -hmm. And they did not. And it was the first time the judge had said, hey, dentist, I know you love this for teeth, but I want to hear what it's doing potentially to the rest of the body. Yeah. So this now National Toxicology Report came out that said there was an inverse relationship between increased fluoride exposure and IQ mm -hmm. in children. And then you unpack the literature and it's on par with lead. It's five to seven IQ points. That's so huge. It's humongous. It is a huge problem in the United States that everything is considered safe until proven guilty I know, I agree. at the expense of people, at the expense of humans. 